Shalom, Shalom Israel. Shalom. First and foremost, want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son. Call Haloyam, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Yahshua Allah, who are the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutation to you, sincere Akim out there, spreading His truth and righteousness and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe. To the 144,000, to the house of David, to the women and children consisted of one third. Most how willing this video to be edifying. Real fast, I want to just do this video on this post that I've seen. And basically, man, to, to wake up you people <clears throat> that are calling yourself black, that aren't black. Okay? Because we're Hebrew Israelites. Alright? So waking you guys, waking uh, the elect up to a true nationality. And um, I'm just going to read this post real fast. I believe the name is pronounced... Osira Nefertiti Raket And it says I'm tired of being a black woman mm. When you know Through the spirit Brothers have been uh, pushing out videos You know Edifying that black means negative and void It means dark You know what I'm saying And when the, when the, when the, when the scriptures say black In the scriptures It goes back to the Hebrew word Kadar Meaning dark skin you know, mm -hmm. so in the scriptures, like in uh, like Jeremiah fourteen and two, for uh, Judah, not Ron verbatim when it says Judah is black into the ground. It's not saying black as far as the color black. Every you know, just straight black to the ground. Mm -hmm. Dark, different shades, brown, dark brown, light brown. You see in, the, in this picture. She's a uh, she's a princess, man, of Israel. That's right, King. With a nice uh, skin complexion, man. But she says, "What? I'm tired of being a black woman." What you should be you should be trying to be an Israelite woman, a princess. She says we stay losing, <clears throat> we stay losing, and our men don't even want us. I always wanted ivory skin, crystal eyes. And sun touched hair. <laughs> sun touched hair. Let me tell you something, man. Yeah, our hair and our skin absorbs the sun. That's right. You know? It shows you the lack of wisdom that that young sister got, man. That young Jake got, man. Lack of wisdom. Why? Because she was brought up in that chemist stuff. Look at her name. Khan. She, she was she was brought up without knowledge. Mm -hmm. So how could she receive wisdom and more so have even in any type of understanding? That's right, brother. Yeah. You guys got scripture? I got a couple of scriptures. Actually, oh, I want to um, get this first. Come bring it out. I love it. This is Proverbs 3. And I'm going to start up around verse 13. Happy, <clears throat> happy is the man that findeth wisdom and the man that getteth understanding. Happy is, happy is the man that find the wisdom. So happy is the man, and in this case, happy is the woman. Con. Right? The get it, the find of wisdom. Mm -hmm. Right? Verse 14. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver. Con. So what you receive with wisdom is better than what you can receive with silver and the gain thereof than fine gold. And, 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 and the benefits of having wisdom is better and precious, more precious than gold. Verse 15, for she is more precious than rubies, and all the things that, are, that thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. That's right. The length of her days in the, is in the right hand, and in the left hand, riches and honor. This is the point I want to get to. Verse 17, her ways are the ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are of peace. So if this sister was a, uh, received wisdom, and instead of listening to the people that raised her and instead of following the things that she's been on um, and the spiritual feed, you know what I mean by spiritual feed, the people that's around her, what she watches on television, what she Googles, you know, et cetera, et cetera, and, pay, and watch the men of the Lord, you know, beginning with the elders, the apostles of Israel, which are the elders of Great Millstone, okay, and, 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 all, and their sincere fruits that's pushing this truth in society. It's bringing her edification. If she was to watch brothers, she was to watch the truth, and she would receive wisdom. 
she will find peace and 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 her, she will find peace and comfort in her vessel, man. Huh. Instead of hating herself, instead of hating, you know, what society had taught her to hate, she will find gladness and happiness in what God created for her, man. Mm-hmm. Which this is just this is nothing. This is just this is just a temporary prison for us on this side. If she knew anything, she knew that we were gonna get what magnified, and our bodies were gonna be changed in the kingdom anyway. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Proverbs thirty-one, three and thirty-one. Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. Con, envy not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways, man. And who's oppressing us today? You know what I'm saying? The so-called, uh, the so-called white man, man, Esau. You know what I'm saying? Envy, why would you envy the oppressor? And you see this, this, you know, it says what? Ivory skin, crystal eyes, and sun-touched hair. Now we're bringing out a scripture real fast. It's Deuteronomy 28 and 48. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies, which Yahweh shall send against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Until he have destroyed thee. Understand that. When we brought here in cargo slave ships. Alright. They didn't take that yoke of iron off around our necks. Until we were destroyed. Not as far as our flesh. But as far as the mental state. And that's what you see right here man. People want to get crystal eyes. And sun touched hair. When they actually have institutions. You know. They have uh. Businesses set up where they can take the melanin out of your eye, man. Because that's the only thing that's stopping your eye from being green or blue or gray. It's because our eyes have a coat of melanin around it. Which protects, you know, our organs that are in our eyes. You know? That's why you see albino people, they, they lack that melanin. That's why they can't look directly in the sun. You know what I'm saying? So that coat is for us. But you got people that are going to these institutions to take that melanin, what you know, what God gave them, the most high gave gave you, in, in pain to take it away. Same thing with the skin, with the color the, the hair color, man. You go into the scriptures, that blonde hair is leprosy, man. Alright? You're deemed unclean. You're deemed unclean, man. And then they got the bleaching of the skin. Which is running rampant, an epidemic over there in the tribe of Levi, so-called uh, Haitians, and as well as the tribe of Benjamin, you know, the Jamaicans and the the, the West, so-called West Indians, all right, the Caribbean islands. So <clears throat> it says, it says, I'm I'm tired of being the color of soil. When what is soil? Soil is rich. You know, like we was bringing out earlier, the scriptures say what? You know, the Judah is black into the ground. You know what I'm saying? Which the color, the, the soil is rich. It's, it's a beautiful thing to be, uh, to be rich, man. Because our skin is also rich. It's rich in very a lot of nutrients. You know what I'm saying? Gold. Silver, uh, oil, uh, oils, you know what I'm saying? Which a lot of people don't know, but when our oil, when our skin produces an oil, it's to also nourish our skin, man. That's why you got these gas chambers, you know what I'm saying? In every every house, that steaming, that fluoride, uh, that fluoride water, with uh high concentrated metals in the water to even affect our skin, you know? Let me bring out another scripture, man. <clears throat> Second Corinthians. Book of Second Corinthians, chapter two, verse eleven. 
lest Satan should get an advantage of us, we are not ignorant of his devices. So we're not ignorant to Satan's devices, man. You know what I'm saying? Which is what? Calling, saying that we out here uh, Egyptian, Egyptian uh, black African Americans, man. Saying that we're black. Wanting, envying the oppressor. Wanting blonde hair, blue eyes, and lighter uh, skin. You know what I'm saying? That's that's how you know you're destroyed and, and, and Satan has an advantage over you, man. And that's why the scriptures say, man, my people destroy for a lack of knowledge. Destroy. You know what I'm saying? In the scripture with uh, Deuteronomy 7, 6. We are holy people unto the most high power, man. Holy. Pure. White. We're the real white people, man. So why would you... And then it said, what? Dear God, please strip me of this black curse. You want to be stripped of that black curse? You got to come back to the Lord's Statue and Commandments, man. And take on your true nationality. Be whom the Most High, Yahweh, wanted you to be. Which is a princess of, of Israel, man. All right? <clears throat> Why? And, and, and then you look what, what month we in. So-called... February, the month of love, that, that that homosexual vibration, that that effeminate vibration, as well as it's supposed to be so-called black, black. <laughs> like the brother said, man, black is Black History Month, and they give you the shortest month. They give you the, the most effeminate homosexual. Uh, shortest month when the world was made for our sakes, man. We don't want this. We don't want the month. We try and get the kingdom of heaven. Keep your month, man. Black and proud. When the Most High hates a proud look, they got you know. That's why Satan got a lot of you. You know what I'm saying? Got advantage over you. We're not ignorant of those devices, man. I saw an article, I don't know the validity of it, but it said that uh, Donald Trump, I guess, changed it from Black History Month to African American History Month because it seemed more suitable. But we're not African Americans either, man. This is 2nd Nedris 6 and 55. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. The world was made for Israel's sake. So you want to be like the oppressor, man. You're going to get stuck. And you're going to be... When the oppressor goes down, so-called white man, you're going to be burnt up with him, man. When these nukes hit this place. You know what I'm saying? So anybody that, got, that come across this video, I got that, 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 uh, that destroyed state of mind. So-called Negro, Latinos, Native Americans. You confusion of faces if your line goes back to an Israelite man on your father's side. Okay. Wake up and repent for the kingdom. Is, the kingdom is nigh, man. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. That being said, I want to give all praises to the heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son, Kol Haloyim, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Do my honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutation to you, sincere Akim out there. Sweating his truth and righteousness and sincerity. Got the four corners of the globe. Shalom.